Welcome people of YouTube, Jack Gash here again today. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for clicking on this video. So, I want to make a little documentation about um, my mushroom tea trip. So, as I always said on this channel, and always, as I always said with these kind of videos, it's not something that I'm advocating, it's not something that I go, say, go and do. But as somebody who does use substances like this, substances as they say, or use plants like this in medicine form, um, I think it's good to openly talk about, especially now when um, in today's culture, in today's society, people are actually turning and using these uh, plants as medicine and using them for the proper resources that I believe they were created for. Because who knows the real reason why these plants do this to us? Um, and it's best to talk about it and uh, socialise about the things and experiences we've all had um, to compare as to, you know, see if there's any comparisons, any similarities, which I, I guess in the psychedelic community and people who do use psychedelic compounds, there's a lot of similarities in uh, what we do. So, yeah, I made myself some mushroom tea. I made it with three grams of mushrooms. I boiled... Uh, the kettle and made myself like you would a normal cup of tea. Took it away with a bottle with me and uh, decided to drink it over the course of maybe 30 minutes on a dog walk. Um, at first, I didn't think nothing was going to happen. Um, I'd, you know, done a, a fair bit of research in turning it into tea as this was the first time I've ever done it. And um, I expected it, you know, to come up pretty quick because it's in liquid form. It doesn't have to go through your digestive system. And... At some part of the walk, I thought, well, it hasn't worked, it hasn't done anything. Oh, how I was wrong. So, as I'm walking along, this wave of euphoria came over me um, and a little bit of panic because, obviously, you're in the onset. The onset and the come up of any kind of compound like this is never really the most comfortable situation to be in because it's where your awareness, your consciousness, your, your, how you're perceiving the world is changing and it's going through that change and it all, often does make you feel a little bit uncomfor uncomfortable at first. So I've done this, you know, a fair few times, you know, it's not my first rodeo, I'm not some mad experienced guy but I've had a lot of experience with these compounds so I know what to expect and I know how to comfort myself so I was walking my dog so I just carried on walking carried on breathing carried on taking in the situation now as I further went on I started to really perceive reality in a completely different way I started to look in the complexity of nature now this is probably maybe one of the f few times I've gone out into nature and done something like this usually I like to be in the comfort of my own home or in the comfort of my own bedroom and somewhere safe with some music and some candle lit things and kind of make it like a ceremony whereas this one I was out in the open I was out out and about doing my thing and um, so I was taking a lot more in than what I usually would you know I was looking into complexity of nature I was listening to the bird sounds there was a lot more that I was paying attention to um, and a lot more things that I was picking up as the walk went on, you know, you start to kind of realise that, you know, the the whole mind structure and thought processes that you have are kind of crumbling a little bit. Not that you're falling away, it's just that your whole, your whole mindset, your whole... Um, how you think about things is changing because you're under some form of influence over something. Now, I do believe in some form of essence of a spirit behind the mushroom experience. I do believe in a kind of entity or some form of communication because that's exactly what it feels like. It feels like you're communicating with something and especially through the onset, you kind of feel like something's on its way. You feel like somebody's coming to meet you almost. So I carried on walking. I got into the thickness of the woods and then it, everything really started to take toll and it was a bit of a rush then. It was a whew. Yeah, we're, we can definitely tell that we're into something now. Um, so I took a sit down. I got into this nice open patch of grass and took a nice seat and really took in the view. Um, yeah. I started to perceive myself in such a different way. Um, and this is something that I'd really like to talk about in this video that I don't think a lot of people maybe hit upon is the healing parts of 
taking mushrooms. People don't look at this, people don't necessarily see this. When they hear about psychedelic compounds, when they hear about magic mushrooms, they think a party or like a, a trippy kind of weird thing, seeing stuff and nobody really gets the true essence of, well, of, of what I find that I find with them and I know what other people find with them and if you've had these kind of experiences please share with the comments please let me know what your thoughts and feelings are and what experiences you've had but yeah I really went into the healing stage of of my trip really um, I really started to consider and see myself how other people see me rather than how I just see myself. You know, we never think of ourselves as a valuable people. We never think of ourselves with credit or, like, what we give to the world. We never really look at that. Now, when you're in under these influences, when you're, when you're on magic mushrooms and stuff, you do kind of look at yourself in a completely different way. You really see yourself in a completely different light. And sometimes, for some people, this is why kind of like bad trips or bad experiences happen because you don't necessarily like the person that you see. And this is why I think these compounds are very healing in a sense because it pushes you towards a better version of yourself and makes you kind of rearrange yourself in such a way. You know, I'm such a, crit a critical person towards myself I can make the littlest mistake and really kick myself for sometimes weeks you know I do make these videos but I'm not perfect myself and sometimes going on these experiences really gets me to look at the things that I've not 100% healed about myself or things that I've never even thought of you know I don't credit myself enough and I don't see myself in value and I think to be successful in life or at least happy in life you do have to sit find some form of value about yourself and love yourself to some degree and I think this is what the mushroom was trying to show me um, as I say I have done more mushrooms in the past I've done a higher dose but I think three grams was enough for that experience especially considering I was out in the open I was in different places that I hadn't been in before while on this kind of substance you know when you're doing anything like this, it's about being responsible and it's about taking the necessary steps to make sure you're not in harm's way and that you're safe and you're doing it responsibly. And that's if you want to do it. I'm not advocating you go and do this. I'm just trying to make people aware of what some of the benefits are in partaking in something in like this because if you don't abuse something and you use it to its potential of healing properties, then you really can make something out of the, uh, the situation. I mean... I've woke up today and I feel cleansed. I feel like there's a lot of stress that I've held up and a lot of tension I've held up. I noticed where on my walk where, where I hold tension in my body, where I hold stress in my body and where it's situated in my mind. And I think going on these experiences, it really takes you in depth into yourself, into your trauma, into things that's disturbed you and really tries to help you get through them situations, get over them situations. Um, yeah, it's such a positive experience. It can be overwhelming sometimes. I had a slightly overwhelming feeling while I was on my walk and I realised that I needed to get home and kind of find the comfort of my own home, um, which I did do. And when I did get home, I just embraced the, embraced the situation, embraced what it had to show me, which was just healing my stress, stop taking life so seriously, stop taking this such a wonderful experience for granted and start appreciating the things around me and the things that I have and the people around me and the love around me and the love that people have for me and the love I have for other people. Um, it truly is a healing situation to be in and I do think as time goes on there will be more scientific research you know mental health backing in these compounds in healing the world we live in a very sick world in a sick place with unhappy people and i think if people just opened up their mind a little bit um to something new to new possibilities to a new way of thinking um i found myself very empathetic after these situations towards other people you almost feel people's pain um and you can understand people more. You understand people where they're coming from. You don't just take people on face value. You look into the soul and you look into the feelings and their emotions. You know, we're all on this journey together. Um, everybody you bump into is part of your process and part of your journey. Um, so it's important to cherish everyone you come across. 
it's you know life is not something that we should take for granted um we should be worshiping and cherishing that every single day that we're here to enjoy it so as i always say on this channel peace and love to anybody watching this i'm going to keep up to the content i hope you've enjoyed the stuff from uh, the lake district with my partner alex it was uh, really fun making videos like that uh, we're going to try and make more content like that we've got a few more trips uh, booked in and that we want to go do um, but yeah, stay tuned man, I really appreciate anybody watching these videos, anybody who subscribed, anybody who likes and comments and, and gives me feedback uh, on my videos, you know, I really appreciate all of that. Um, it's really good to have some form of uh, network and some form of people enjoying it, so yeah man.